Hi, Johnny Mullet here Hi, with the Thunder Bus. We drove her from Northeast Ohio to Schoolie Palooza, 2,400 miles, four days driving. The bus did great. We were wanting to make sure the bus would be good to go for our retirement plans because, you know, we're currently not traveling full time, but we use it for recreational use. And I figured a trip out here would be the best way to make sure it's going to do what we need it to do. So I'm very proud of the bus. It's been a very good bus. Would you like to come inside and see what it looks like? This is my co-pilot, Gio, and he's adorable. <laughs> Come on in. Everyone knows me as Johnny Mullet on YouTube. I got the entire build documented on my channel. Just search Johnny Mullet, and you'll know who I am. So. This is a 96 International Thomas bus. I kept the build very simple with 99% of it being 12 volt. So all the lights, the stereo system, and everything in here is on 12 volt except my refrigerator, which was the wife's idea because she wanted a big refrigerator. So I do have a power inverter to run the refridge. But otherwise, everything is 12 volt. Um, I wanted everything new. I didn't want to use repurposed materials. So we got new cabinets and we stained them, the upper cabinets, the countertop, but all the woodwork you see here was hand built. Um, this is my power distribution center where all the magic happens. So basic two 100 watt solar panels come into this box and charge those two 6 volt golf cart batteries and it runs the entire bus including the power inverter. So I have everything accessible right here in an easy spot, easy to access, easy to see if something's wrong, and I've had no problems with my basic simple system. Um, currently, I came from the snow belt where it's cooled, so my water system has RV antifreeze in it to keep the lines from freezing, so we cannot use the sink during the trip, so we brought plenty of water, you know, to bring along. Uh, more 12 volt lighting. Um, we have a little doggy gate here because this guy likes to fight with the other guy. One feature a lot of people have asked me on my channel was how I blocked the windows with the black. And what this is, is this is a simple truck mud flap cut to size to fit into my framing. You can also double them up to block the windows completely off. Very simple and it hides all of your woodwork or your cabinets and it's not tint, it's not permanent, you can pull these out and actually clean the windows. So I wanted to keep that important. Um, factory ceiling, factory insulation, the factory walls with the factory insulation, and then I framed outside the factory and insulated more. I also insulated the floor. So a six foot two bus at six foot one, I am six foot, so I did not do a roof raise. and. We'll come on back a little ways here, and this is our bench right here where we sit, and it also serves as a bed and storage underneath. So it's a real simple six-foot bed, mm -hmm. uh, very nice cushions. I had an Amish friend build the cushions for me, and his brother-in-law did all the woodwork you see in here. Um, I'm not a carpenter. I'm a terrible woodworker, but I'm a great mechanic. So I had my homage buddy help me out with the build, and he built all the walls, framed in my refrigerator, and the bathroom. He built the bed and the shower. Um, back here, I'm going to move a couple things. We've been traveling, so things are a little bit uh, cramped and crowded. It's basically lived in. So I'm going to pick him up before he attacks Ouch. anybody. Anybody being me. <laughs> being <a> Steampunk <laughs> Steve. So it has a 32 by 32 shower, but since our water system is not working, we're using it as a closet while we travel. Mm -hmm. Very simple. The bed also lifts up for storage, or I can access under the bed through the back emergency door. If there happens to be an emergency in the front like a fire at my electrical work, we can still lift the bed and escape through the back. So I wanted to keep that an option. Mm -hmm. um, I found this very nice medicine cabinet with a mirror on it, and it matches the paneling. 
So I thought that was really nice. Um, more mud flaps, the same thing. Um, some extra storage. The wheel wells we utilized as we had to leave a little room to walk through here. And then we also have a pantry. So there's our pantry. Mm -hmm. Our propane can is behind the garbage can for to run our apartment size 24 inch stove. And it works very well. Um, I'm gonna have you step back here very carefully so I can show you the bathroom. Nice shot of my crotch there, Steve. <laughs> this is our bathroom. It's a simple portable toilet that you gotta clean yourself, so whatever you don't wanna clean, don't put in it. Mm -hmm. um, very simple. Um, two more cabinets. I got two more 12 volt outlets underneath here so I can plug in a cell phone. And this door also closes all the way to there for privacy and is actually a bedroom door. Right. So the 110 volt refrigerator you see on the left runs off the solar, no problem. And I also have a little extra storage up top. And this thing is blowing ice cold. Mm -hmm. Runs off the solar, no problem. I do have it on a timer, so about 11 p.m. The refrigerator and power inverter shuts off to save electricity and then about 8 a.m. it kicks back on so I haven't had a problem with my electrical system at all um, as long as the sun's shining and even on cloudy days it's enough as long as you don't overdo the power that's uh you know don't be plugging in your glade sense thing into the power strip to make it smell nice and right. stuff like that but uh, Basically, this is our build, and we're very happy. We're very proud of it, and I'm only 48, but I can't wait to retire. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to wait. I really don't think I'm going to go that long. Don't wait. I can, I'm a mechanic. I can make money on the road. Yeah. I can do what I need. So, of course, we'll see what happens. Well, thank you. And you're welcome. Thank you for touring the bus. I hope you enjoyed uh, the tour of this week's rig. Uh, join us again next Saturday for another episode. <laughs>